Hey y'all, Ilya and the Sword Dragon, and we're back with another part of Starshine Legacy. This is going to be the third and final part of episode two, and I am so excited to get to it. Linda isn't responsible just for the school magazine, absent-minded teachers, and her daily schoolwork. Now she's the only one who can save the sleepy town of Yorvik from being drowned by millions of gallons of water. The old Yorvik dam appears deserted, and she has no time to ask politely. She must test her and Meteor's abilities to the limit. There is a bomb going off soon that would wipe out everything Linda has gotten to know in her life. And the countdown has started. Okay. I'm here at last. I have to find the bomb as quickly as possible. It'll be really difficult to get onto the dam, and I need to use me Meteor as well if I'm going to overcome obstacles in my way. Yeah, so we need to be really careful. I don't want to get back to the stable as fast as possible. I'm really hungry. <laughs> You're always hungry, Meteor. Stop thinking about your stomach and focus on the important things. You need both brains here, and your future's on our hands. Well, in my hands, in your hooves. Excuse me. Why can't I move, Meteor? Yeah, I know that. I can't. I. I. Mm, what? Okay. Okay, first off, no. Resume game. I phys I physically cannot move Meteor. What is going on? There's the first obstacle. We must get over this channel. The barges are drifting back and forth in the water, and if we step very carefully onto them, we might get safely to the other side. Linda, you've got the reins. Be very careful when you guide me. I put my trust in you, but if you go too fast, I'm just going to stop. There will be many dangerous places here, so we must be careful. Okay, maybe he'll move now? I- why can't- What is that? I- no, I- I- I'm pushing as hard as I can. It's a- it just won't register me here moving. Okay, maybe if I die? I really don't want to have to restart the game. Nope. Oh my gosh. What is going on? But I don't... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, the dam. So sorry to keep replaying this over and over again. <clears throat> I 
because I don't want to get out of the browser, browser and have to restart everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll have to wait for it. Hmm, there's a star over there, so I'll go on that one first. So we do move with it, which is fun. star will have to be from going somewhere else. Okay, come on. Okay, almost there. Don't the meteor have golden eyes? Or hazel eyes, I should say. Eh. Okay. Wait, what's that over there? There's a small piece of paper on the ground. I'd really love to pick it up for you, but I don't have any hands to do it with. You'll have to get off and pick it up yourself. Yeah, it, I better take a closer look. It might be important. It's a piece of a ripped paper, and there are numbers written on it. Looks like it could be a code of some kind. I think we've been very lucky, and if I'm right, this is the code for disarming the bomb. I need to find the other parts of this paper. Maybe if we push that car with the crane, then the concrete block on the hook might drop and hit the steel beam. Maybe that would get us over the wall. What do you think, Meteor? Sounds like a plan, but we'll need a lot of luck to pull that off. Let's speed up and push the car, and we'll see what happens. So I guess we're run into it? Yes, so. Very fun. I think that's the button over there. We'll I think that the button over there will start the crane and it should drop the car below so that we can cross the river. Good thinking about that. And look over there, there's another piece of paper. Pick it up while you're pressing the button. Sure, I'll do that. We have to find all the pieces of code. Okay, that's it. Now let's get over to the other side. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but geez. Oh, and another piece of the code. Let me just get the star real quick.
code 3 of 4, or piece 3 of 4. Okay, so let's go up these. Why won't you speed up? Okay. Give me star. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Hey, Meteor, are you ready to jump that fence? If you think we should, Linda, but we have to do a complete halt right after we land. Oh yeah, otherwise we'll fall down the stairs and that would be really hurt. Now, let's go. And the last piece of code. Finally, I have all four pieces of the paper. Now I have the secret code to disarm the bomb. Again, not what I wanted. Come on, we're almost there. Oh no, we have to jump over that big gap to go on. That's a really big gap. I know, but you're the best jumping horse ever, Media. You won't disappoint me. Well, sure, but if we don't make it over, you know, we'll fall, and it's a long way down. We could die. And then you would miss your dinner, right? Don't be so pessimistic. You won't fail me or your work. It depends on speed and timing. We can do it together. We'll jump over the gap. Let's go for your work. Great job, Meteor. Look, there it is. That's the bomb. Finally, now just a summer and then we can go home and get something to eat. I'm so hungry I could eat a whole haystack. If only it were that easy, Meteor, I can't call anyone for help. I can't get through on my phone, and if I ride the police in the the bomb will explode before we can come back. I have to do it myself, as usual. Okay, this is the difficult part. All I can do is try my best. The clock is ticking. Oh no, it's going to explode in just a few seconds. Great, I did it. The bomb is disarmed. That's fantastic. I'm so happy you did it. Of course, I would have missed my dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think about anything other than food? But okay, let's get this stable and I'll see what I can find. Oh, that was really close. Level six completed. And of course there is one more. The day of the horse jumping competition is here and Linda is prepared. There are no signs of trouble and the cheering audience has no clue that this day could have ended in a great tragedy. Linda can't help, 
can't feel that anything bad is going about to happen, and she can devote herself to com completely to Meteor, the jumping track, and the joy of riding. Is that Colin again? We made it to the final, but we have to win. We, we must complete the course in under a minute and 20 seconds. everyone. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Now for the final. Jump over the obstacles marked with the blue star. If you jump the wrong obstacle, you're out. If you tear down an obstacle, you add 10 second penalty to your total time. Mm. You must jump over the obstacles marked with the blue star. If you jump the obstacles in the wrong order, you're out. It's time to start. Mm. You know the rules. May the best rider win. Okay. Let's go. I'm like completely focused on this. Ooh, there's a star there too. I'll try to get that after. Oh, come on. Come on. I have not. Ugh. I didn't even hit most of those. We didn't make it, but we'll win next time. I did not hit most of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Come on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah, that doesn't bode well. I didn't... And we did it. Yeah, we made it. We won the competition, Nadir. Well done, Linda. <laughs> you were just lucky. Everyone you knows who's really the best. It's me. Today wasn't your day, Sabine. Linda and Nadir were the best this time. And every time. Go home, Sabine. That's right. You also saved Yorick and us from a terrible disaster today. Well done. It's all thanks to Linda. She did everything right, and all by herself. Night falls, or the town of Yorick goes to sleep without knowing that their lives have been in grave danger. The Soul Riders are half finished, and an ancient prophecy is about to be fulfilled. The forces of evil are not asleep, and will do their utmost to destroy the four girls' chance to discover their secret and fate. And that is the end of episode two. So I'm not going to be recording any more today. I've been at this for about an hour. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all in episode three. Bye.